day we were born, God knew that we'd find each other. He knew before time began that this amazing celebration was going to occur. Cannot wait to do life with you. To go through adventures together, to catch your tears, to enjoy growing old together, or just to do dishes together. I couldn't imagine my life without you in it. I see God's hand so clearly in how he has orchestrated our relationship. You are everything I dreamed of in a man. You love Jesus with all your heart and you always challenge me to love him more. Throughout our relationship, you have constantly been challenging me to be a more godly man. And I would not be at this stage in my life without you. I have so much to thank you for and I know that there will be so much more in the future. I cannot wait to laugh and to learn with you. I love you and I feel so blessed to say, you will always be mine and I will always be yours. As a mom, I have prayed for a godly husband for Shannon since the time she was a little girl. It's such an honor to stand here on yours and Shannon's wedding day and welcome you uh, into our family. Josh, you make Shannon so incredibly happy. She loves, respects, and admires you for the person Christ created you to be. I know you'll take great care of her and love her unconditionally, that you will respect her and treat her incredibly well. We could not have asked uh, for a better life partner for our girl. The day has finally come that we have been waiting for. I've always dreamed and prayed for the woman I would get to marry. I'm so thankful that it's you. I love you more than anyone besides our God. You are so important to me and I will cherish you throughout my entire life. Love for the last time, your fiance, Josh. Like it's Christmas Day. Shannon, even though we met you only four years ago, we have prayed many times that the Lord would prepare for Joshua to find the person who would be the perfect wife for him, and we have no doubt that is you. We are so pleased with your choice, Josh, for your bride. And Shannon, we're so proud to welcome you as our daughter into our family. Dear my soon-to-be husband, you are the love of my life, my greatest treasure, and my best friend. I can't wait to see you standing on the stage as I walk down the aisle in just a few short hours. Josh, you are so perfect in my eyes, and I truly believe I get a small glimpse of God's deep love for us in the way I love you. Take courage. When the road is long, don't ever fall. I'm so happy for Shani and Amy for finding their dream guys, but sad as well because they won't be as we won't see them as much. But I can't think of it as losing two daughters, but think of it as gaining two sons and two ter two terrific sons at that. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up. Bears all things, believes all things, 
hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. And now abide faith, hope, and love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. Joshua and Shannon have consented together to become one in holy wedlock. They have vowed to love each other and to be faithful to each other. They have sealed this union by exchanging vows and rings. And in the sight of God and before these witnesses, I now pronounce them husband and wife. So 